Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm going to talk cold frames. I started making cold frames for myself, all different types, and they have been working fantastic. What I've done is I've taken a tote, you know how I grow in my storage containers of totes, and I've cut the center out of the lids and then I have covered them with tulle. There's different methods. I have a few videos up on how I make the tote lid covers and you can check them out and see which method will work for you and more are coming. But today I just want to talk about how I use them and how great they've been. But I cover it with tool and then I get my seeds started in there or I take my new seedlings that I take out of the plastic bags in there and I leave this outside in a shady area where it will pick up reflective sun. Now, let me give you a hint on this. For this, I would use a container that's on the light colors. This is a light, they call it scuba green. It's kind of a limey color. This has worked fantastic. I would go with anything light so it gets reflective light. And once you've got these set up outside and your plants are starting, I even started garlic in there, you don't have to wean them outside. You can just put your plants directly in the ground when they're ready after you've had them in this type of cold frame. This thing costs like $5. You can go to any of your hardware stores, Walmart, Target, they all have them for five. And it's been fantastic. Now you know I've got all different colors. And let me give you a hint. When you're cutting it up and you take the center out, all you're doing is cutting out the center. Use the darker ones if you want to make straps. Here, here I made straps on this. And again, I will get into that more detail in a few minutes. Use the darker ones for that and keep the lighter ones for your plant labels, your stakes. Because they are easy to write on. Whoops. They're easy to write on with a Sharpie. And you can read them better than you can, let's say, a dark navy blue. Though there's ways of getting that fixed too, and we'll go into that another time. But this has been fantastic. So you can have it flat, and if you want to cover plants, I've also started my plants outside with this, with the tool on the lid. Let me show you this real quick. I have had no birds, no nothing bother anything. Usually I lose some seedlings. You know how it is. We all lose our seedlings. You get some little plants in there, and then the roly polies come, or birds come, or rodents come, and they eat the new seedlings. Well, they won't go through the tool. They don't even know what it is. And when they see the tool, I haven't even had them land on it, but if they land on it, they can't get in. And this will save them. Once a plant is established and starts to grow its main leaves, the, go past the baby leaves and go into the adult leaves, a lot of birds and rodents and stuff don't bother with them at that point. So you can cover your totes outside, as long as you're not layering, and you could just cover them. And then once you get the established leaves started, you could take the lid off and store these flat somewhere. I've got one from last year still sitting against the wall. I used it last year to start a lot of different plants. Then once you pull off your tote lid that's covered, the cover top, you could then layer and start putting your other flower pots or whatever you want in your totes, but not in the beginning. This has been a lifesaver. This has been fantastic because we're all going to start getting our plants now. We're in beautiful spring. Look how warm and gorgeous it is today. And now that the weather's getting better, though I don't really trust it yet to put too much out, I am starting seeds in here. I've got melon seeds in here, watermelon seeds in here. I've got cucumbers growing. I've even got some mint cuttings and collard. I've got all kinds of stuff already started in here. You can set multiples of these up. Make sure you get a lighter one. They will do better because if you get a dark blue or a gray, something too dark, then the seedlings won't get that burst of growth. But when you get a light color, it reflects light in there. It can go through a little bit the light and just enough for the seedlings to grow. So you can start putting them into your garden as soon as you trust Mother Nature and think we're not going to go through any more frost or too cold weather. But this has been a lifesaver to me and I think it might be for you too. And remember, like I said, Lids come in all different colors, depending on what totes you're getting. I think a lot of you are getting gray. Gray is perfect for either way. You can write on the gray color. You can make lid covers for them, and you can make the size lid you want. 
flat is perfect. And then also on top of this, I did not cover this one with tool. That one I did. You can snap this on top and you could cover this with plastic if you wanted to. If you're really, really cold, you could put a clear plastic on it. And then as soon as the weather gets warmer, you can take it off, close pin it on, just use close pins and then take it off and put tool on, or maybe you won't need this at all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. Remember, the center of the lids are not a loss because we're making straps out of them and we're making plant label stakes. So with that, have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye. Oh, it's so pretty outside. Look at all the birds. This is my happy place. I've been having coffee here every morning. I even come out and bring a bowl of cereal sometimes out here. And I watch the hawk take her bath. I watch all the birds fly around. And this is really, really nice. And the flowers and the sturtiums are starting to grow on the hillside. Thank you too. Seven minutes?